Hello and welcome to Catalan News. It's the final countdown. In less than 24 hours, Catalan President Carles Puigdemont has to confirm to the Spanish government whether or not he declared independence last week. The future of Catalonia's self-government depends on his reply. This and the call for early elections we have learned today. Here at Catalan News, we'll explain the latest on the political deadlock between Madrid and Barcelona. And we'll show you one of the big Catalan cinema proposals of this week. Let's begin. It's the nuclear option. Article 155 of the Constitution has never been used before in Spain. It would allow Madrid to strip Catalonia of its autonomy, but it's not clear how. Would the Catalan government be replaced by new members of Rajoy's confidence? What would happen to the Catalan education system or the public broadcasters? The Catalan government offered Madrid to open a two-month period of negotiations, saying they could talk about everything. But what Madrid wants is a clear message saying independence was never declared and never will be. The final deadline is looming. The Spanish government wants the Catalan president to state that on October 10th he did not declare independence by tomorrow, 10 a.m. Otherwise, Madrid will enforce Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution. This would mean Madrid seizing Catalonia's self-rule. Rajoy insisted on the warning today at the Congress to pro-independence lawmakers. I think you should also make an effort to convince the Mr. Puigdemont that he doesn't believe in more problems than he believes, because if not, he will force the government to take decisions that, without doubt, would be better not to do it ever. There is another way to prevent the suspension of self-government, an immediate call for snap elections in Catalonia. This is what Madrid also hinted at today. But the Catalan executive made it clear that it is not in its plans to hold early elections. At the same press conference, the Catalan foreign minister stated that the two pro-independence leaders sent to prison might not be the only ones. Uh, elections are not right now at the table. What is a possibility is that me or the president of the government or the government as a whole, whoever, could be removed or could even uh, uh, be jailed as we saw uh, on Monday with the two leaders. Is that a possibility? Yes, it is. Carlos Puigdemont's cabinet members also said that despite the deadline, their position will remain the same as in the past few days. That is, asking for dialogue and a meeting with Rajoy instead of giving a binary answer on independence. The other important event took place in Spanish Congress, a protest against the imprisonment of two pro-independence civil leaders. Some MPs in the chamber showed posters reading Freedom for Political Prisoners. The head of the opposition in Catalonia accused them of playing the victims. I think they are very interested in en alimentar el victimismo, pero nosotros como demócratas no nos vamos a meter en las decisiones judiciales. The final deadline expires in just hours and positions are not expected to change. How exactly Catalonia's self-rule suspension will unfold is one of the best kept secrets in Madrid. The threat of the future of Catalonia's self-government comes the same week as two prominent pro-independence leaders have been jailed. A judge ordered their imprisonment without bail on Monday for charges of sedition. She said their role during the demonstrations of September 20th and 21st, when thousands protested against Spanish police arrests of 14 high-ranking Catalan officials, broke the law. Protests that day were mostly peaceful, as have all big pro-independence protests in Catalonia. Thousands of people again took to the streets on Tuesday in the candlelit march to protest the imprisonment of pro-independence leaders. The mass demonstration was also peaceful, which after years of public protests in Catalonia comes as no surprise. As the political situation shows no sign of cooling off anytime soon, more demonstrations are very likely to follow. In fact, civil society groups on Wednesday presented En Peu de Pau on a peace footing, a platform with the goal of making sure that political struggle in Catalonia remains non-violent. En definitiva, un espai que serveixi, que ens pugui servir per col·laborar a sostenir en aquests moments, aquests dies que vindran i davant la retallada de drets fonamentals que estem vivint, garantir el caràcter no violent i de les mobilitzacions. The group aims to educate people on civil disobedience to better prepare them for critical situations, such as the violent crackdown on referendum voters by the Spanish police on October the 1st. En Peo de Pau has launched a website and is also on Twitter and Telegram. The group wants to make sure that people act responsibly also when sharing information on social media so as to prevent the spread of rumours and falsehoods. Among others, En Peo de Pau includes the two main pro-independence organisations in Catalonia, Omnium Cultural and the Catalan National Assembly. 
These are the two groups which saw their presidents imprisoned on Monday pending a sedition trial for organising protests in the run-up to the referendum. On that day too, they made a point of keeping the response peaceful. No tenim por. Nosaltres no volíem cap guerra. Ells ens han declarat la guerra. La nostra resposta, més que mai, és l'abraçada a la pau, a la llibertat i a la democràcia. Omnium and the Catalan National Assembly are responsible for organizing demonstrations on Catalonia's National Day every year since 2012. So far, they have all been massively attended and peaceful. Let's move on to business now, because today Barcelona Meeting Point opened its doors with hopes of achieving good numbers as the real estate sector recovers after years of crisis. 265 companies will participate from 16 different countries in a space of 22,000 square metres in central Barcelona. Organisers hope the increase in house purchases in the recent months, up by 16%, will help the convention. Barcelona Meeting Point will also focus this year on affordable housing and technology. Although figures do not show any impact on housing, the real estate fair comes at an uncertain political time in Catalonia. So far, more than 600 companies have moved their legal headquarters out of Catalonia, but the government says there is no need to panic. In fact, none of these companies have moved their production plants or businesses, and the Catalan government says the legal relocations are just temporary for as long as the current political deadlock continues. In fact, the executive blames Madrid for changing the law to make it easier for companies to move away and even for putting pressure on them to leave. Sabem de trucades directes dient que que canvin la seu. Ho estem investigant i ho posarem tot en públic de dir quines són les empreses que han rebut les trucades i d'on les han rebut directament. And let's move on now to culture, because one of the main books of contemporary Catalan literature has now become a movie. Cold Skin, La Pei Freda in Catalan, was for years the most successful book in Catalonia. It was translated into a record number of 37 foreign languages, so it was only appropriate for it to be made into a movie. Comme un étranger, il va avoir peur de l'autre au départ et petit à petit, il va apprendre à accepter, il va apprendre de l'autre, il va apprendre d'Aneris et il va comprendre en fait que les enjeux de cette guerre tribale bah, sont complètement différents de ce que lui perçoit. Et en fait, c'est aussi un film sur la perception des autres. C'est-à-dire qu'on va avoir peur des autres, donc on va vouloir les détruire parce qu'on n'est pas capable de communiquer. C'est aussi un film sur la communication, sur la manière d'accepter l'autre, sur la manière de, de vivre ensemble. Es una historia sobre cómo los seres humanos nos enfrentamos a lo desconocido y a, y, y a los desconocidos desde, desde el miedo y la desconfianza. Y, y nos sentimos atacados enseguida y entonces respondemos con violencia y atacamos. Y cómo si, si por lo que sea nos tomamos el tiempo para escuchar, para, para observar y para entender, eh, lo que te, nos damos cuenta de que lo que tenemos enfrente no es tan diferente como, nos, como podíamos percibir. And with this, we finish today's show. We leave you to discover a very special tradition in Catalonia, El Jagans, which is also popular in other parts of Europe. This last week, an international convention of these giant figures was seen in the south of Catalonia. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.